Shazam! Hey, what's going on YouTube community? Welcome back to another video here with Underdeveloped. And today we have another review for you guys. A review for Thanksgiving. Directed by Eli Roth. He directed many movies and he acted in many movies. Mm -hmm. I know him particularly for Inglourious Bastards. He was great in that. Yeah. Uh, I know he's also a horror aficionado. He even has his own like show where he just talks about horror. And he also did other movies like The Green Inferno, Death Wish with Bruce Willis, and many more. So Thanksgiving begins with Black Friday. We know how crazy that shit can get. Oh, yeah. So this, uh, this main chick, main girl, played by Addison Rae, her father, Rick Hoffman, is a millionaire. He runs this, he owns this big su superstore. Yeah, this uh, store that's totally not Best Buy. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, And he has this huge sale, like first hundred free on waffle makers. Mm-hmm. So there's no one gives a shit about waffle makers on Black Friday. They care about TVs, but whatever. Um, <laughs> hey, if it's free shit, free shit is free yeah, shit. <laughs> but he has a huge mob awaiting fucking, instead of being home with their families, they have a huge mob waiting outside of his restaurant. And one of the people that was there in uh, Rick Kaufman's house for Thanksgiving, um, he had to go, because he, he's one of the managers, so he went to the store mm -hmm. to open up, um, you know, to, um, to help out, because, you know, they said she was, she was going to get crazy. Um, Patrick Dempsey also pulled up there. He's like one of the first people you meet. He's bringing in pie, you know, because he knows Rick Hoffman and the people there. Yeah. That was gathering that circle for Thanksgiving. Um, and he f followed with the wife of the um, the guy that worked at the superstore. Mm -hmm. Um, And they came together to, you know, drop off some food for him since he couldn't stay for Thanksgiving dinner. And once, um, and then the daughter, the main character, Addison Ray, her and her friends, a bunch of jocks and idiots, and and also another girl who's one of the girlfriends of the jocks, they come through mm -hmm. and um they and they pretty much taunt the people outside with all the waffle makers and shit that they were holding up. Yeah. And pretty much uh jump started the whole mob by letting them in a little early. It turned into a riot. And it turned into a huge riot as what ha happened in real life when people get trampled on and stomped on. Mm -hmm. And with and it goes it's, it goes insane. This could have been its own horror movie. Yeah. Like the like 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 the um the wife of the of the dude that worked in the superstore that was at Rick Hoffman's house mm -hmm. that came with Patrick Dempsey's character to drop off food for him. She ended up getting crushed in between two carts and get her scalp removed. Yeah. You know, man, she dies in there. Uh, the boyfriend of the main character, play, play by Addison Ray, who's like a big, you know, baseballer, he breaks his hand. Yeah. Effectively, any, any potential of him going any forward. And in like two, career. I'm pretty sure two other people died too. Yeah. If I remember but correctly. Those, those are like NPCs, but yeah. Yeah. Two, two other guys that were there, they ended up dying too. So this, this turns into a massacre. <laughs> so now you fast forward to a year later. Um, a year later, you know, uh, the, her boyfriend is nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. She's dating the guy that, you know, pretty much obsessed with her. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, The year, the year prior. And, you know, they're just doing them. You know what I mean? And then they randomly start getting... And the friends, the friend group, they randomly start getting these uh, Instagram mentions with this dude named um John... John Carver. Was, yeah, John, John Carver. John Carver. Because he was going to fucking carve them. Yeah, who's pretty, <laughs> pretty much... He's, he posts a picture of a dinner table with their names attached to it. Mm -hmm. And then he's... And this guy starts racking up bodies. And the bodies are people who are, who are like, main culprits in this riot. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he kind of works their way up to the top until he gets to the main crew. And that's pretty much the story. So mm -hmm. pretty much the serial killer is born out of revenge and they have to protect themselves. Yeah. And the rest of the town. Well, also figure out who the fuck the killer is. Yeah. Who is Patrick Dempsey? Yeah. Of course, <laughs> you're going to have a no, 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 no actor in some random cop role. You know, it wasn't like he's going to be the killer. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I even checked. Scream 6 had a similar plot because a cop. Was like the was it, at least one of the killers in Scream yeah. Six. Yeah, well, in Scream Six, it was more like it was revenge for my son because my son died. But the point is, that a yeah. cop. It was, was also the main a cop. killer. Yeah. So that, that's the comparison. This is a Scream like movie in the same year that Scream Six came out. There, where they both had a cop as one of the villains. Okay, it, it, it was it was it was Dermot Mulroney, not mm -hmm. um Patrick Pat Dempsey, but he but Dur Dermot Mulroney he played a same cop role. Uh, and, and he was like one of the main killers by the end. Yes, and he kind of took that trope from this movie. Yeah, I, I mean, mean it, well, they, they took it from that movie. Well, I mean, it's kind of too short of a time span for them to have been inspired by that movie. It's more. No, of a I'm not saying inspired, but they did the same thing. Yeah, they just. Like, I, I'm not saying the they thing. stole, but I'm saying 
they pretty much did the same thing they did. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so what we, well, same thing as we saw back in March. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They, they pretty much did the same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much the movie. Let's get to our thoughts. Yeah. Overall, like, this movie... I feel like this movie had potential to be a really funny, out-there kind of this zany horror comedy. Oh, also, I didn't even mention... Oh, also, the reason why Patrick Patch, Patch Dempsey was the killer was that because... The um the, the the wife of the dude that worked at the superstore, she died, and he secretly was they they secretly were t- like in love and having an affair, mm-hmm. and he was carrying his baby. Yeah. So now I don't feel guilty about her dying anymore. I think I know what Eli. Roth, I mean, it's obvious what Eli Roth is trying to go for. He's fucking trying to do this. Like we're trying to do this thing. We're making a a really ridiculous concept and playing it serious and that's where the comedy comes from but I feel like there's more I really could have done with that concept because there's only a couple scenes where they really like fully delve into that and it's actually really funny again this movie does have its own fair share of humorous moments it's not a boring film it's not I wouldn't say it's unentertaining but in terms of what they really could have done with the material I feel like it's a little lacking I feel like they really could have done a lot more with this like it's fun because it's funny when we see some stupid shit like when fucking what's her face is being is being like basted like a turkey and have seizing but on her and shit that shit's funny it's dark and it's morbid it's funny but they don't actually lean into their gimmick enough to actually justify that the most they really do with it in most of these kills is really just the damn pilgrim outfit the killer wears and the stupid mask yeah i mean i i mean it's no surprise i mean honestly this kind of pretty much is eli roth's attempt to create a new like slasher character yeah. for this generation, pretty much like a this is kind of like a scream meets uh, Jason Michael Myers kind of vibe, mm-hmm. but with Thanksgiving. So instead of <laughs> saying, "Oh, we're gonna Halloween, we're gonna see Halloween," Thanksgiving, we're gonna see Thanksgiving. Yeah, two or three or four or five or six or seven. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, Thanksgiving seven, the curse of Patrick Dempsey. <laughs> yeah, some dumb shit like that. Or uh, Patrick Dempsey in space. Uh, um, <laughs> Patrick Dempsey goes to hell. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Honestly, so like, pretty, so like, yeah. So from that angle, cool. But honestly, even like the motivation. I mean, this is one of the few like um, stash films where the character is not just crazy and she's going to murder rampage just to prey on people. Like, he actually this is out of revenge. Yeah, this is targeted. So I don't know how much movies can be really made I mean I guess anyone could wear it so someone could just take the, yeah. the helm here I mean hell that's how Scream started it started as like a yeah, so kind of sort of revenge story and that's why I kind of feel like that's why I'm kind of feeling it like, on, like a Scream because yeah. it's because it's an outfit that pretty much everyone had mm-hmm. and anyone could use so it's a yeah. good cover anyone can use it it's an easy mask to get fucking voice modulator because anyone can really use that nowadays yeah exactly um like, but yeah, I mean, there are funny moments of it. I mean, the movie definitely made some, got some laughs. Definitely has entertainment value, so it's not like horrible. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I figure someone who's as has who's who's in the depth, who's adept in his knowledge of like of this kind of subject matter, because he loves horror. He has his own horror show. Like, yeah, he's a fanatic. So it's like I think someone like that would be capable of doing better work. But this just feels like slock. You yeah, know what I mean, this just feels like just like cheap fun, some cheap, some cheap grindhouse shit with no real fucking life to this you know what i mean mm-hmm. like you know what i mean even the kills are just like kind of cartoonish kind of reminds me of like mortal combat fatalities you yeah know what i mean it's kind of over the top you know what i mean like so it's, it's not real enough to feel real and a comedy and it's, it takes it a little too serious at times for me to even get into the comedy aspect too much because yeah a lot of this a lot of shit comes off as comedy because it's so unintentionally there's like un, it's like unintentionally comically hilarious the thing is, I feel like this movie is trying to be intentionally, unintentionally funny, and that's just kind of a, yeah, kind of like, a weird... Yeah, I can't say that right. Intentionally, unintentionally funny, like... like uh, yeah, it's kind like, of ridiculous. Dude, like, you know what I mean? Seems, you know what I mean? Seems like you're just trying to go for many things here, mm-hmm. and it's just not really working. Yeah, because, like, the thing is, like, not either the drama, the comedy, or the horror is, like, good enough for what it is. It's Acting a, is not good, the dialogue no. is kind of choppy. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's kind of, like, a little out there, you know the, what I mean? The thing is, like... It's trying to do a whole bunch of things at once, but none of the individual things are particularly good. I don't in this feel case. like a lot of thought really went into this movie for me. Nah, honest. it feels, it feels like, like it's a lackluster attempt at creating a new franchise. So he's kind of going for the slock, and it's just like, yeah. And I kind of like, I feel like, and because it's covered for some of the Eli Roth that I expect a lot more from, it mm-hmm. makes it all the more disappointing. And I'm kind of being harsh on it. Like, I don't think it's bad to make like a top ten worst list, but probably it's, not. It's definitely enough to be a contender for yeah. like, for like it's like enough to be a contender for like the dishonorable mentions. Like, this is this really is not good. You know what I mean? Like, this is nah. And it's probably make a lot of movie because it's gimmicky and it's a little fun. 
you know what I mean? Yeah. A big TikToker's in this. I mean, movie. hey, if that's enough for you to like the movie, then good for you. Sure. But I mean, you'll probably... <laughs> not you know, really you'll, you'll, you'll go into the movie and have, have a couple laughs, have, have a little fun. Yeah. But you can't really take anything serious here. The scare is... This is, this is pretty much a comedy with slat, with horror. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, just, I'm sorry. This is a comedy with murder. Yeah. This is pretty much what it is. Which, even then, we've seen better examples of that yeah. this year. Like, Redfield is a comedy of murder, and that was, uh, that yeah. was better than this. Way better movie. And this got better reviews than that for some reason. Yeah. The reviews for this is way unjustified. This is nowhere near as good. As yeah, no. I don't get how the Rotten Tomatoes is this high for it. No, nah, this movie gets like a 60 for me. Yeah, I would think 62. Nice. I think... I think sixty is fair because because it, it doesn't do anything well, but it doesn't do anything like super horrible either. It didn't bore me, so I, yeah, I, I, I wasn't I, bored, so I, I don't feel comfortable that. giving under sixty. I, I, I yeah. give him that, you know what I mean? Sixty is perfect. It's the exact number like, I had. But like, even head. though I appreciate it, it's a difference in terms of approach with this with with the, the serial killer character. I mean, but by the end of it, it kind of felt like this is why he did it, really. Yeah. Over a woman. Uh... <laughs> even then, it's like it's this is a very obvious person to be the killer too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Like, I was kind of hoping he was going to give us a psych out because I'm like, I mean, you're going to hire you're gonna have a notable actor in this sort of role like a cop and not do anything with him? Mm-hmm. Come on. Yeah, no a cop way. that's just there. A cop that's there in every scene but isn't super important to the plot. Like, come on. Exactly. Like, come on. Come on. That's just that's not being low. That's being killer. obvious. You can at least been creative at it and to give it a twist and turns. Maybe it's more than one kill. Like how Scream does. Scream always tries to really psych you out and really kind of it all builds up to the reveal, you know? Yeah. Like, sure, sometimes Scream ha- has had occasional bad reveals, but most of them, they end up being good because of that. Because they're always trying to psych you out because they understand their actual audience. Yeah. So this, like, it feels like it's trying to understand its audience, but doesn't quite get that yeah, far. Yeah, it's a misfire in every sense of the word. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, he definitely dropped the ball here. Yeah. Sorry, Eli. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Eli. Um, with saying that, though... Yeah, six sixties. What you get? Yeah, sixties are official scores here and now. That's Thanksgiving. <laughs> I hope you're all watching a much better movie this Thanksgiving. But that's neither here nor there. That's up. To, that's up to you. Watch this at your own discretion. Yeah, if you like the trailer and this really appeals, if this really really appeals to you, then sure, go ahead. I guess. But other than that, th- thanks again for joining us here tonight, folks. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe button. We we'll see you next time for the next movie review.